Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So today I wanted to show the team my newest CGC 9.8 comic book purchase. And yeah, this comic book right now, it's one of the more controversial books going, I think. It's uh, sort of kind of caught up in that uh, debate with the first appearance of Batman Beyond in DC continuity. So um, a lot to talk about with this book, and I had a really good experience purchasing this one. I um, kind of boiled it down to three things that surprised me when I uh, got this CGC 9.8 comic book in. And um, uh, different with this order, I did not purchase this one off of eBay. Yeah, I actually grabbed this one direct from, uh, it was a team member, Dwayne, who's a, a DLE underscore comics off of Instagram. And uh, like we didn't set up any promotion or anything like that. Like, uh, you know, I paid a full, you know, a fair price for this one. And um, yeah, it was just one of those things where I wanted this book. Dwayne has a great store going on Instagram. This popped up from him and, you know, we ended up making a deal. So thanks to DLE underscore comics for the hookup on this one. And, and yeah, Dwayne's like a really like an original team member. Like he was commenting when these videos were, you know, really, when I was really new doing the channel. So uh, thanks to Dwayne for the hookup. Let's get into some of the details though with this book because as I said, it's kind of part of that whole debate with the uh, first appearance of Batman Beyond in DC continuity. So we'll talk about that for sure. But I ended up grabbing a Superman Batman annual number four in the CGC 9.8. And I think it's safe to say that this is the first Batman Beyond cover in DC continuity. <laughs> So let's get into some of those details though about the first appearance because um, yeah, just in the past couple weeks here, sort of it was a Superman Batman number 22 and 23, sort of coming out as having much earlier uh, Batman Beyond appearances in the DC continuity. So you would think like that's it, like that's, those are the first appearances, great, like as long as he's in there, which he is, I you know, double checked and there's kind of a sweet, it's Ed McGinnis art, it's kind of a sweet one pager of a Batman Beyond in a Superman Batman number 22. But um, the debate really kind of surrounds, the, uh, in uh, 23 they call that Batman Beyond Tim. And there's also a Batman Beyond toy that was made sort of based off that comic book that was called Tim Drake as well. So, um, you know, it's easy to sort of think that, okay, well maybe that's Tim Drake Batman Beyond. But uh, one detail is in Superman, Batman 22 and 23, they reference Earth 12 and Earth 12's Batman Beyond is Terry McGinnis. So, you know, that really, you know, that Batman Beyond in those, you know, really should be Terry McGinnis if they say that that's an Earth 12 Batman Beyond, which they do. So that's one detail. And the other detail is DC is pretty much on the record as saying, yeah, we made a mistake, we messed up. Like, it's really easy to call him Tim, obviously, because Tim Drake's a, a DC character too. So they kind of messed up and then the toy company went along with the mess up and made the toy kind of deal. But because of this whole debate and controversy, controversy um, this book is, you know, some people are still saying it's the first Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond in DC continuity. So that's what some people are saying. I just tend to think, no, you know what? It's the first Batman Beyond cover. It's the first full Batman Beyond story, which is, it's a really cool read. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like, uh, yeah, Batman Beyond, he does like a drug bust and um, there's like kryptonite in the drugs. So he's like, oh, okay, I gotta go make a visit and they go visit like future Superman. So pretty cool story in this one too. A full story, whereas Batman Beyond's appearances and all the other ones are really like, he's not a main character in the story. So. Um, yeah, let's get into the census here before we get into any more details. 55 CGC 9.8s out there in the blue label. So kind of a 1 of 55 collector item is pretty cool for such a great cover. And 46.2% uh, is the CGC 9.8 ratio. So of all graded copies, 46.2% of them are 9.8s. And you know, this is a 2010 book. And I say anything sort of after the year 2000, if it's under 50%, uh, the 9.8 ratio, that's a pretty decently rare 9.8 comic, um, you know, and then the more rare ones, like an Ultimate Fall of 4, pretty rare in the 9.8 for a modern is 32%. So 46.2%, not too bad for a modern book. Uh, so price we'll get for this one. Um, interesting how it kind of went down, how uh, my uh, uh, purchasing kind of uh, experience went. I paid uh, $275 for this one, plus uh, $25 shipping, so basically 300 ship. I basically saw that there's been a few on eBay sort of buy it now in the last six months go for that $275 price. Uh, you know, maybe a year ago, this one was right around 200, but it 
you know, it's sort of taken off there and I definitely saw some go around that price. Uh, so literally the day after I purchased this one through a DLE underscore comics, um, I started to learn a lot more about these other Batman Beyond first appearances. And to be honest, for a bit, I was a bit remorseful, I think. I had a little bit of buyer's remorse, uh, you know, thinking that, oh, damn, this probably, this really isn't the first uh, Batman Beyond first appearance. And I was sort of under the impression that it was, but it's certainly my mistake for not doing the research myself, I think. But um, let's get into three things that surprised me when I got this book in, given the whole debate and, uh, you know, how I felt after I bought it, a little bit of uh, buyer's remorse. So the first thing is uh, the three things that surprised me. My first thing, my buyer's remorse was like gone right away, I think. Uh, this is such a cool cover. Looking so fresh in this uh, CGC 9.8 case too. Case is looking great too, yeah, from DLE Comics. Really a flawless case and a newly graded it was too. There's like a little bit of Newton ring here, but I don't even care about that. And certainly not a, a high amount of Newton rings. So instantly my buyer's remorse was gone. It's just such a cool cover. It's it's, you know, I think Batman Beyond, he looks so different from the animated Batman Beyond that it took me a while to come around on this one, but now I just really love it. Yeah, I totally love it. Um, number two here, the things that surprised me, the cover's better in the flesh. Yeah, so just seeing it in person just instantly made me like it a lot more. And um, yeah, I think, uh, again, if you're a big Batman Beyond fan like me, you may have been turned off to it. Uh, because uh, it, it's you know such a departure from the uh, animated Batman Beyond, but uh, yeah, Stanley Archer Lau doing the art, who is you know a, a well-followed artist, and yeah, definitely I just think nailed it on this one, and getting better with age, I think for sure for, uh, with me. This uh, yeah, Batman Beyond cover, first Batman Beyond cover in the DCU. Uh, third thing that surprised me is I really I want a copy of the second print now. So uh, yeah, Batman Superman Annual number four, there's a second print with a red background. And I'm really just liking that one more and more. And overall, I'm just liking both covers more and more. And I'm just so glad I bought this at this point. But um, I really want to track down uh, one of those second prints, probably just in the raw. I was uh, talking to someone on the team actually, and they had mentioned kind of, you know, in the raw, it's like maybe 50, 55, 60 bucks for one of those. Uh, uh, second prints because he you know he had a few so I was uh, we were kind of talking about it so um that second print though I think with the red cover kind of sets it off even more I think than the first print and it's a little bit more um, you know low printed the second print one so um considering this isn't a first appearance maybe the second print could become just as popular maybe or you know it's certainly more um, you know chance maybe for price appreciation on the second one but if you're a Batman Beyond fan, I still think Superman Batman Annual num number four is one to go for. And like one detail, I think that, you know, it maybe didn't hit it, hit this book hard as much with some of this new information coming out is the fact that they do call the Batman Beyond Tim in those, um, you know, uh, uh, the, in the first appearances in Superman Batman 22-23. Um, that sort of leaves, you know, some people to interpret that, and even though it was a mistake, to still say, like, this is the first Terry McGinnis um, appearance as Batman Beyond. But beyond that, uh, an awesome cover. It is the first uh, Batman Beyond cover in the DCU. And again, the story, he's in the whole story. He's the main character of the story. Yeah, I would say Superman's not even... It's almost like first Batman Beyond solo comic in DC continuity, because Superman, I would say, is a secondary character. He doesn't kind of come into it to about halfway through the book. Um, so you can maybe think of it in that way, like sort of how there's, um, you know, first solo Wolverine comics and things like that, or first solo Moon Knight comics. Well, this is the first solo Batman Beyond comic in DC continuity, maybe, if you want, you know, maybe you want to say that. But that little detail that uh, they do call that Batman Beyond Tim, I think is always there and people are always going to interpret that. And um, this could still, you know, be uh, considered that first appearance of Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond in DC continuity. Yeah, I'm just getting confused already myself. But um, really, I still think uh, this book's really cool. I still think the cover's really awesome. I think if you're a Batman Beyond fan like me, like one of the biggest I am, uh, it's, it's one you still want. And um, yeah, that little bit of buyer's remorse I had, I truly do not have anymore. I'm really glad I have like this one of 55, 
like really sweet Batman Beyond uh, collector item. And yeah, I don't know if I did. Um, like I kind of compare this in in some ways, uh, different eras, but um, this is sort of like an Amazing Spider-Man 316. Like, Amazing Spider-Man 316, no big first appearances or anything, just a sweet Venom cover. And if you're a big Venom fan, Amazing Spider-Man 316 is like a book you gotta have. And uh, I, I feel that for Batman Beyond fans, this is gonna be really similar. Where, you know, Superman, Batman 22, 23, I like those two, they're awesome. I'm getting Roz in them and on the, on the lookout for a 9.8. But um, this is still gonna be one where it is the first cover, it's a great cover. And it's a, like Amazing Spider-Man 316, even though it's not a key issue, it has basically become a key issue. And uh, it's always been cool from the beginning. And as a Venom fan, you want Amazing Spider-Man 316. And I think as a Batman Beyond fan, you want a Superman Batman annual number four. All right, uh, so yeah, really happy to kind of talk about this one. Uh, a bit of a controversial issue right now, I think. But I think the concluding up, it's, you know, it's just one that um, I don't think you know, you are gonna just 100% like write it off now. Like a lot of people are having these like, okay, now it's all about, you know, only about Superman, Batman 22 and 23, and now this is garbage. Like it's, you know, you can have both, I think is what I am uh, trying to say. And um, I think there is room for interpretation out there with all the, with the, um, you know, that error and everything and how they call him Tim. So there's even more of a reason that this will probably still be a key issue in the future. And yeah, such a cool cover. Absolutely. And maybe check out that second print too, because that's, I think what I want to do. Yeah. Um, getting, you know, some information from the team where it's actually not too, too expensive in the raw. Yeah. Maybe a second print for kind of 50, 60 bucks is a, is a really good deal. Alrighty. Thank you very much for watching today. If you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Uh, hit the bell for all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter as well. All the links in the description below for that. But yeah, I did grab a Superman Batman annual number four and a bit of a cool experience having a little bit of that remorse. And then, you know, I really, I'm genuinely really happy that I have it now though. So, all right, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Message me on Instagram if you did have any questions about whatever it might be. But thanks again, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.